Hey everybody, what's up? With you, Smelt from CGAlter.com. Now today I want to show you how to create um, additional lighting passes for your renders, for your existing render. So I just want to go, go ahead and start with this example here in front of me. So um, what I have here is just a simple scene with one source of light coming from this direction. Okay. So um, let's say that I have, I have this image and I'm not really satisfied with this lighting and I need to render an additional light pass coming from this, okay? Now with all the shaders right here, now this shader is a little bit complicated um, with, you know, multiple shaders and blended together in order to get this shader. So in order to render this from scratch, it's, it's going to take a little bit of time. Now, if you have 5,000 frames, I mean, boy, 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 I mean, you're gonna need a lot of rendering power. It's going to be expensive, okay? So how do I do something that is really quick and that I can give to my client at the end of the day. So this is where the V-Ray Light Select Pass come into um, come into play. So um, if we use the V-Ray Light Select Pass somehow to render only the lighting pass, we can really compose it back together with this one on top of it and it's going to work just fine. So I'm going to show you the V-Ray Light Pass or the V-Ray Light Select Pass. Now basically, it's a direct light, okay? So, and this one, this is the one that I rendered for the for the actual light that I want from the right. So, it's direct. So, what that's supposed to mean? Why am I saying that? It means that we don't have to render GI, global illumination. We don't have to render those bounces of light that it's going to be, you know, once it hits the surface, it's going to bounce at the wall, the wall is going to bounce at this object, and so on and so forth. So, we don't have to render this. Why? Well, because we already have the GI, and I agree with you that it's going to be a little bit fake, but it can save the day, okay? But, but, if you have a little bit of extra time, let's say that you have two days instead of one day, you can render the GI as well, and, you know, add it to the existing GI, and you're going to get the direction, the reduction light and the bounce of light. So. It's just a choice. It's just a choice, and it depends on how much time do you have. So if you if you have time, you can do it with just you know um, the, the first method without GGI, or if you have time, you can do it with the GI. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's start. So I'm gonna go to to uh, 3ds Max here. So this is the existing light source. So I'm gonna turn it off, and I'm going to turn on the the new lighting here. Let me show you just a scene really quick here. So what I have here is just a simple scene with two sources of light, one that's not being rendered, and now I want to render it. So this is just a reflector, by the way. Um, so I'm going to go back to the camera. So what I need here to do is to add our pass here. So I'm going to go to render element, add, and I'm going to look for the viewer light select pass. I can give it a name. So I can give it, for example, like this is the right uh, light. Okay. And we have this option here for the light, so we can cl click on add, and we can pick the light from our scene here. Okay, so it's been affected. You can add multiple lights to um, a V-Ray light select, or you can add additional ones. Like, you know, if you if you want to render it uh, for multiple lights, you can just another, add another one and have it separate. You can do this for the for the doom light, whatever light you have in the, in the scene. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to add the second solution. Remember. I said, if you have one day, go with the right light, you just just without the GI. But if, if you have extra time, you can really go ahead and add the V-Ray Global Illumination. Okay, so what do I choose here? Do I choose the V-Ray Global Illumination, which is the regular pass? Um, or do I choose the V-Ray Raw Global Illumination? Now, the difference between the two is that this one, which is the regular, does have texture in it does have the color information in it. Where the V-Ray Roll Global Illumination, the Roll Pass, does not have that, that information, which is going to really give you much more control. So I'm gonna render both, and later on in Photoshop, I'm gonna show you what I mean here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shop this too. Hit OK. Well, here, if you if you choose to not render the the um, VR global illumination, you can just hit this and it's going to re render cheaply, it's going to be faster, and you're going to save the day. Huh. <clears throat> so, um, I'm going to enable it just for the case of this tutorial, and uh, I'm going to 
um, just pick a path and uh, render it. So you may ask yourself, like, we're getting the GI, we're getting the the actual um, um, the actual uh, light select, but we're not getting the reflection of this light here. Well, a quick way to do this, although I'm not going to do it because it doesn't matter. Actually, I can just pick a little bit of you know reflection and it's going to be just fine. So what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to assign in the global switches in the override I'm going to assign the neutral uh, shader because I don't want to render this complicated shader again. It's going to take a while, so I don't want to do that for five thousand frames. <laughs> so um, quick way to do it: just assign a neutral light that's going to render like in, in the fly. You assign it here to override material because we only need the light and we only need the GI. Okay, so that's one thing. So for the reflection, what we can have is we can create another one. We can uh, call it reflect. Okay. And we're just going to assign it. And here on the exclude, I can really like exclude it. For example, this one, what's the name of that one? I can go ahead and oh, it's the bust, whatever. So we can go to exclude. I'm going to look for bust. Uh, I think it's bust. So both. So it's going to be excluded. So the neutral, the neutral shader is going to be applied everywhere except for this one because I'm going to apply the reflect here, the temporal reflect. So uh, there you go. Um, we're gonna change this to, I don't know, something, something like that, whatever. And the reflection, and there you go. We're gonna get the ref little bit of reflection that we can control. We can really compose back in, in, uh, um, in comp. So here we can add, um, I'm gonna add both actually and so reflection, viewer reflection, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There you go. And we have the, okay, well, that's it. Okay, this is all we need. So now I'm gonna hit render and we're gonna move on to Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how to do compositing because there is there is this trick that you need to know. So um, let's go ahead and render this. Uh, I think everything is just fine. Here's the renders, here's the render options that I used is actually inspired by Vlado settings. It's it's just amazing, wonderful settings. I use it all the time. And uh, I'm always on BritForce and Lightcache for the GI. Um, so there you go. Uh, I'm not changing anything because I'm using Vlado's settings. Basically, you're controlling based on the color threshold here. So this to zero. So um, there you go. I'm gonna hit render and um, let's go to uh, to Photoshop. All right, let's do compositing. So I'm going to open the two EXR. So we're going to start with the with the EXR, the first uh, result here. Okay. So before I do that, I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning so that you know how I, a little bit about how I work. So the first thing is I'm going to change temporarily the panel option. So I'm going to pick a thumbnail with none. So in order to just you know to just see that. So I'm going to put you know regular pass regular passes and I'm going to pick the regular pass. So I need the specular, I need a refraction and a reflection, I need lighting and I need GI. Where is the GI? Global need. Yeah. Those those are really the main. I'll pick the RGB just to make sure that it's matching. I want to pick those. I'm going to call it other. Okay. Just so that we have a stock that to pick from, you know, the alphas, etc. So, in order to match this, now this is the final result that we need to get. So I'm just gonna turn it off, and I'm going to reflection, reflection, lighting, illumination. Okay, so we need to change this to linear dodge add, and of course we're gonna turn this off. So as you can see, we have a complete match with the RGB. So I don't, I don't need this anymore. Bam. So, um. What we need here is to really compose it that light pass that we rendered. So I'm going to bring this out. Okay. So bam, bam. Okay. So we need, don't need the RGBA. We don't, okay. We need that. So those are really the, re the, the passes that we rendered earlier, the viral faction for global illumination, global illumination, and the V-ray um, light select pass, just the right light coming from the right direction. So we're going to start with the, with the direct light. 
And let me go back to our main comp here. I can change the panel back again to something acceptable, so you can see. Okay, that's pretty good. So we can paste that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I rendered a smaller version. I need to make it 720. Okay, cool. Can it take just a second? Okay. So I'm going to paste that pass and I'm going to change it to linear dodge add. And by the way, if I'm talking, if, if, the, if multipass compositing in, is new to you, just go to cgalter.com forward slash resources and you're going to find a lot of videos that explains everything in detail. I highly recommend this one because this one really explains everything, almost everything. But this one is to read, this one is to watch, those actually to watch. All right. So as you can see here, we have added this light pass, but it's not integrated into the diffuse. It looks like it's in top of it. It just doesn't look good at all. Now that can can save the day. We can turn the opacity a little bit down if you don't know how to do it, and it can really save the day. Uh, yeah, it's acceptable instead of rendering everything like 5,000 frames or something <laughs> if you have an animation. So we can really like um, integrate this in a more um, much more uh, better fashion. So what we need to do is to go back one nut to a um, to a row pass, okay? So if you're not familiar with row pass, let me just remind you a little bit. So a regular pass, so in our case here, it's lighting. So let me just show you. This is the lighting pass, okay? And this is our n n new lighting pass that we're gonna integrate. But as you can see, this lighting pass has color and it has lighting information, okay? So what we need to do is to separate those in order for, for me to, to do this, to add this new pass that we just rendered, to add it with just the lighting, no color. And in order to do that, all we need to do is to find the filter and really multiply it by the roll pass of the light. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna turn this off because we don't need it anymore. I'm just gonna put it here in the stack. And I'm going to create a group that I'm going to call regular lighting pass. Okay, so I'm going to go back to our stack here. So our stack, we need the, the rule lighting. Where is it? Okay, where are you? <laughs> um, V-Ray, 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 V-Ray. Where is... I know it's there, it's just I can't see it. <laughs> I just can't. There you go. So we need this little guy. So this is the row lighting, and we need the diffuse filter. So this is the diffuse filter of the row lighting. And I'm going to just bring it up a little bit. So here, and I put it with the group so that it's in the group. You can even just give it a color. So what we need is to multiply this by this. But before I multiply it, and this is what we want, we need to somehow merge it without a pass here, okay? That we rendered out of three smacks earlier. So what we need is to make this on a, another group. <laughs> yeah, so merge uh, row passes, okay? Row light passes, just to be clear. Uh, we're going to put it here and I'm going to change the blending mode to linear dodge add. Okay, just I just want this to be blended with this one. So I'm going to use um, a plus operation, which is in our case linear dodge add. So we have done that. Now we need to change this from pass through to normal. Just wait. So now we need to do our multiplication. So if you remember, we have a regular pass equal to filter pass. To a roll pass. Now our roll pass, we have done that. We have a group for that roll pass, which is this one. So what we need, we just need to multiply by its filter. Our filter here is the diffuse filter. So we're just gonna, gonna change this to multiply, and we're going to find a similar result to what we have here in the real lighting. So if I turn this off and on, now of course I'm gonna turn this off so that you have a match. And um, yeah, it's um, I'll say it's, it's, it's fine. Okay. So, um, I'm going to turn this off. 
So what we need now is to change this back again because this is our regular pass. It's just, we just figure out a way in order to find this one. So this one, if you remember, it was on linear dodge. So we need just to make this on linear dodge again. And um, that's it. Okay, so we have um, we have done this in a more... So as you can see now, this lighting pass that we have added is more integrated into the render. It's more integrated before actually the, um, the light mixed with the diffuse filter. Okay, so this, if you are in a rush, if you have time, let's say that you have time and you, you render the roll passes and the reflection pass as well. And, um, you know, you had more time. So we're going to go back to our stack here. And we're going to take the V-Ray Global Illumination, but we're going to take the roll, okay? Because we're going to do the same thing as we did with the V-Ray lighting. So we're going to take the roll pass, because if you have, um, you know, it will be more, more neutral and more mathematically correct if you use the roll pass instead of this, because this has color. So I'm just going to take this pass, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to create a new one. We're going to call it GI. And we're going to paste this. So we have GI, so we can label it like, you know, make it blue or something. And we need to find the raw global illumination. And of course we have the filter already, which is the diffuse. So we need to put it right there. Well, let's let's uh, let's do the addition first. So we need to really like this is merge, merge um, uh, rule passes. So we're gonna put these here. I can really, of course, do this, for example. And I'm gonna change this to a linear dodge add, since I want just to add this to this. I don't want to multiply it because you know I don't have the color with. Yeah, so this is going to be just a plus operation, like the lighting pass. And in order to get the this one, we're just going to duplicate it, and I'm going to bring it back here. See, it's very easy. And I'm just going to close this again. And actually, I'm going to put this right here, and right here. Yes, exactly, this is what I want. So now I'm gonna change this from pass through to multiply, since we need to multiply, again, just a reminder, multiply the rule by the filter. So we found the rule, we multiply it by the rule filter, by the filter. And our filter here is the diffuse filter. So uh, multiply by this, and this little fella is going to be on linear dodge add. Why? Because this is the regular, regular GI and we need to do it on the dodge add like this little guy but we have it here on double so I'm just gonna turn it off okay so there you go this is how you integrate things and we're gonna do the same thing for reflection although for reflection we don't need to go back so um, okay uh, Photoshop just went crazy um, so I'm going to bring the reflection again and I'm going to put it in top of the reflection and guess what we're going to do? We're going to do an addition. We need to dodge add. Now, of course, I did really a rough reflection. It doesn't match with this one, but we're going to try. And we just want to do something cheap, something that was going to render really fast. So what I can do here is I can cheat a little bit. So, um, well, first of all, I can do a little bit of you know, like, I don't need a lot of, just a little bit of a bounce. And then I can go to filter, can blur this out, Gaussian blur, and, you know, just, you know, you know what I mean. It's not matching 100% as if it's going to be rendered again, but um, it works out pretty well. So uh, there you go, man. Um, I hope that this was useful. So, um... There you go, this is how you integrate the light impasse um, in a little bit of mathematically correct way. So, yeah, this is a little bit, you know, fake, but, you know, we saved the day <laughs> and everyone is happy. Um, 
So yeah, I hope that you like this this uh, trick that I showed you, and um, you take care, man. Take care, and uh, we'll talk soon. I mean, you know, I create a video soon. <laughs> All right, take care.